Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today is a very, very exciting vlog because um, I'm going on a trip. I'm leaving in a couple of days, a very last minute trip. I found out about it last week. Booked my flight, booked my hotel, and I'm so excited. We are going to LA. We're actually going because I'm going to my first movie premiere, which I cannot believe it. It is for the Pixar movie Elemental and I am seriously so excited. At the beginning of this year, if you guys remember, I went through my goals for this year and one of them was to be invited to some sort of premiere and I can't believe it is finally coming true and we really did that, you guys. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I've never been to a premiere so I have no idea what to expect. I did order a dress um, this morning so hopefully it comes in time i leave on tuesday and today's currently friday hopefully it looks good on because if not i don't have any other option today we're gonna go and get our nails done um mine are crusty and i'm not sure what i want to do i wanted to do a round of the main character obviously i haven't seen elemental yet so i don't really know much about the characters but from the movie poster there's one girl who is like the fire element and she wears a black dress so i ordered a black dress and i don't know if i want to do red nails I need to like do some Pinterest searching and figure that out I thought because I have red hair even though it's like already fading like red hair black dress Kind of works. I don't know and then also on this trip. We are going to Universal I have been been to Universal in years I think the last time I went I was probably like 10 years old and they didn't have Harry Potter land They didn't have Mario World like they didn't have any of that stuff. So I'm really excited to go back I'm gonna have so much fun. My boyfriend's coming with me. So It'll be a couple's trip, so we're really excited. I'm gonna go get my nails done um, because that's important. <laughs> so before we leave, got to do an outfit check. So this top is from Shop Cider, and it is so cute. It has like little bunnies on it. I'm obsessed with this top. It's so perfect. I love it for like every day. Like it just adds something to your basic white tank top. It is not sponsored, but they did send it to me and I do have a code in the description if you guys want to shop. These jeans are from H&M. I wear them all the time. This is from Amazon and my pearls and jewelry, my crusty nails, and this bag is from H&M and my Nikes, of course. Time to go. from the nail salon. And when I tell you these are the ugliest nails I've ever had in my life, I'm gonna cry about it because <laughs> I'm on my period. <sighs> dramatic to cry over nails. It is. <laughs> okay. I'm done being dramatic. I wanted yellow tips for my nails because I wanted to go for like that elemental vibe. And my dress is black, so I thought yellow tips would be cute, but I wanted yellow chrome tips to like spice it up a little bit. And she put chrome all over my nails and I don't like them. Uh, and the tips are so thick, bro. Like it's literally like a half of the nail or the tip. I need to get them fixed tomorrow. I know, I know. People are going to be like, well, you should have told her that you didn't like them. I have such a hard time doing that. When she first put the yellow color on, I didn't like the shade of yellow that she had it was like a greenish yellow and i don't like green yellow i wanted like baby yellow you know like a pastel i had already told her to fix the shade of yellow and that was already a lot of stress for me and then she added the chrome and i was like oh my gosh i am literally about to cry right here right now and then she asked me like oh like what do you think and i was just like they're cool thank you like i don't know what to say i know i should have said can you please take it off but i just wanted <laughs> so it was too much i just felt bad at doing it i know there are bigger things to be upset about in this world i understand but right now i want to be upset about my nails so i'll be upset about my nails from now on do not let me get any other color besides white cream and pink okay like i don't know what i was thinking just like going crazy and trying yellow like I never get yellow nails so I don't know what I was doing I needed to stick to like the colors that I like which is white pink and cream I'm mad at myself 
We'll see you tomorrow. It is the next day and we're gonna continue on with prepping for this trip. Today I have a couple of errands to run. I need to go to the post office, ship out some packages. I need to get these nails fixed because I was hoping they would grow on me, but I think the more I look at them, the more I actually hate them. So we're gonna get our nails fixed and then I really need to find some shoes for the premiere because I really only have like one pair of heels and they're white and my dress is black and I don't really want to wear white heels with them. So I think I'm going to do a simple just black pair of heels um, and everything that I found online it just like wasn't going to ship in time unless I paid like $50 for like express shipping and I just don't really want to do that. So I'd rather just go into the store and hopefully I can find something that's basically on the agenda for today. I'll give you a little outfit of the day though. I'm wearing this tank top, which is from Brandy Melville. And then I'm wearing this Disneyland necklace. This necklace is from Marshall's um, Truly Enchanted Shop. The same usual rings that I wear. Gold hoops and then these pants which I got on Depop. I'm wearing these shoes which are Nike little boy section and I haven't worn them in so long. Um, I think now that I am done teaching for the year, you know, because school year ends, now I can like actually wear like other shoes besides dance shoes and workout shoes every day. So I'm excited to like start styling my other shoes that I have. That is the outfit of the day. I think I'm gonna throw on that gray little like bolero cardigan that I was wearing yesterday because it matches the gray in the shoes. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's go run some errands. Exhausted. I am so excited to take this bun out of my hair because my hair is so tight. I want to shower and just chill out for the rest of the day. But I did get my nails fixed and they are so much better. It's like kind of like clearish nude color and I was going to keep them plain but I just couldn't help myself and I wanted to add something. So we did like these little stars with little rhinestones. There's like some polka dots as well. I don't know if you can see, but they're still like really simple and from far away, it just looks like there's rhinestones on them. Like you can't even tell there's little design. So I like that better than the ugly holographic yellow whatever we did so i went to the vintage store and they had some disney teas but i ended up getting this star wars tea as if i'm a star wars fan it says trust me i'm a jedi and i just thought it was cute and simple brandy i really wanted to go into brandy just to get these sweatpants because i have these sweatpants in gray and i'm obsessed with them and so i was like i need a black pair as well and I can get rid of all my other sweatpants that I have. Um, these are so comfortable, you guys. And they're honestly pretty long. So if you're taller, then these would be like perfect for you. For me, they're like a little bit long. So I do have to fold them at the top, but I don't really care. I got this. You guys know I love my like lace tanks from Brandy. So I got this white tank top. Very simple and basic. I wish they had a black one too, but they don't. Two pink tees. One was a t-shirt and then one was a tank top. So I just went with the t-shirt because it's super simple and I don't know. It's literally just like a plain pink t-shirt. So I know I'm just going to get a lot of use out of those basic pieces. But I didn't have any success getting the shoes. So unfortunately, we don't have shoes for my dress. I'm going to try and order them tonight and I'm going to get them shipped to the hotel and hopefully they make it on time. I went to Macy's to go look for shoes and they had nothing, like literally nothing in my size. Like, couldn't get any shoes, unfortunately, which was like the whole point of today besides my nail. I'll pick up the vlog tomorrow. It's the next day. This morning I got up early and I watched The Little Mermaid again with Ingrid. Did I love it again? Absolutely. My stuff from Amazon came in, so let's open it up together. I got a clutch. As you know, all I have are Disney purses, like Disney lounge flies and Sony Clover fanny packs. And I don't really have normal items so i found this on amazon and i thought this would be a cute clutch for the premiere i figured since it's like neutral like it'll match 
so many other outfits for other events if I'm lucky to go to anything cool ever again. This would be cute and it has like a little chain. I really like the material of it because it's like kind of like soft. It feels like fabric. It's not like hard if that makes sense. It's like a soft really pretty material Me and Lauren are going to do a little mermaid outfit so I'm gonna dress up as Hallie and she's gonna dress up as Vanessa this little headband looks like this so now I can look like Hallie these little hair clips I love the little packaging because usually they come in like whenever I get hair clips they come in like plastic bags and then I'm like where am I supposed to put these I wanted specifically the yellow color and the pink color to put in my hair they're really small um, but for Universal Studios, I thought the stars would be cute and they would match um, like Nintendo World, Harry Potter. I think I've decided I'm only going to do one outfit for the trip. It's because it's my first time going and I just really want to like take it in and enjoy the park and I don't really want to stress about like all these outfit changes but I definitely want to make another trip hopefully I can go again this summer and then I can get like really cute photos and different outfits but I think for my first time going I'm just gonna keep it really simple here's my dress my Hallie dress for our little mermaid shoot it's simple and I figured this blue color you could use for so many different bounds Cinderella Alice in Wonderland blue fairy if you're like a Disney bound person you need blue. And with the little headband, I'm all set. I got this sweatshirt, which, look at how compressed it came. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this sweatshirt. I'm nervous. I wanted a pink sweatshirt to wear to Universal if it's cold at night. I figured pink would just match with so many things. Oh, you guys, it's so like thin and it feels so cheap. Oh my gosh, wait, this is not good. No, I can't wear this. I need to return this. I don't know what to do. But at least this worked out. The Hallie dress worked out. Like, I don't have to worry about that. I just want to do that little haul just to include it here. But tomorrow, hopefully, the rest of the things come in and we can try everything on and we can pack because I leave on Tuesday. So I need to pack tomorrow. It is the next day, which means it is time to pack because I leave tomorrow for LA and we need to get our life together because my pants came in for my universal outfit and i think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board i have no idea what i'm wearing to universal and i think this is what happens when you are a disney girly through and through and all of your clothing revolves around disney i'm like i don't know what to do <laughs> like i really have no idea what to wear to universal so I'm kind of stressed out. Here are the pants. They're just white parachute pants, but this just doesn't look good at all. It looked awesome in the photos, so that's why I bought them. You know, I looked at all the reviews and it looked so good. This is the shirt that I want to wear. It's this universal shirt that's like bedazzled and it's cropped. I bought it cropped, but I'm going to tie it in the back i wanted to do kind of like a y2k kind of vibe like street style that like the vibe that i was going for i try this on and see how hideous it looks yay i mean it's not bad okay i thought they were gonna be worse honestly but they're not bad i don't know if it's i think it's better high-waisted instead of low-waisted i feel like they're also not like baggy enough just kind of go like straight down instead of like they're not like parachute -y, you know? I know I have like one backpack that could work. I have like a Harry Potter lounge fly, so maybe we'll try and style something around that. And maybe that'll like create some inspo for me. I have this lounge fly, which is a Luna Lovegood lounge fly. And I like it because the pink straps, honestly. I'm kind of thinking I can build an outfit around backpack and then I can scrap whatever this is because it's not looking the way that I thought it was gonna look in my head. So the other issue that I'm having is that the weather has been so weird. Like yesterday, it was so hot. Today is like super gloomy and the day that I'm there, it's supposed to be 71 but cloudy. So I think I could do pants and be okay if it's too hot to wear pants, you know? It's like hard. I don't understand what this weather is. Like, can it just be hot and then I can just wear shorts and I don't have to worry about it? That would be nice. 
I feel like I'm getting somewhere. This top is from Brandy. It's like a cream color. And then the pants, stand on the bed so you can see it they're the pants that i wore to princess night they're so comfortable and i think they're kind of perfect like in the in terms of like matching the backpack it's like the perfect shade that could be the vibe you guys um and then i could just do like a bunch of jewelry the other idea that i had was wear like the matching outfit that i have for this which is this top some matching shorts and a jacket um, but my issue is the weather. Like, will I be too cold if I'm wearing shorts? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Here is the jacket. Okay, here's this. I'm gonna try on the shorts. I might end up just bringing both and then deciding the morning of, like, what feels better for the weather, you know? This could also be the vibe. We love it. It matches. Slay. I think my favorite option though is definitely the pink pants, but if it's like too hot, then maybe that's not the vibe, you know? Me and Lauren are gonna do, I'm gonna dress up as Ariel and she's gonna dress up as Vanessa. I need to try it on just to make sure it looks good. So let's do that. Here's the dress, super cute. Okay, Hallie, here's the dress. I'll link this dress because I am very impressed with it. It's super cute, but I feel like this would be so cute at the parks if you guys want to go and wear them to the parks, but super cute. I just need like two day outfits and then I need two workout outfits so I can go to the gym. And yeah, so we need to figure out what those are and then we can start packing. Took a little break to eat some lunch, but look who arrived. It's our dress. I'm excited. It's better work. If not, I will be ordering another dress and I will ship it to the hotel it has like two different straps so like one's thicker than the other so let's try it on and hope that it looks good on me here's the dress it fits perfectly this is from princess polly princess polly never lets me down i don't know if you can be able to tell but super cute it has a little slit down at the leg and here's my little clutch I love feeling a little stressed at the moment because okay so the black dress that I'm wearing I feel like it's really pretty but I'm nervous that it's a little bit too formal. The email that I got for the premiere doesn't really say like doesn't say what the dress code is it just says premiere and so in my mind I'm like oh premiere like red carpet you should be formal you know like you should dress up you know but because of the location i'm starting to like second guess myself and i'm like maybe i need like maybe a shorter dress so it's a little bit more casual so i'm like stressed out <laughs> because i obviously it's my first one and so i have nothing to like compare it to to like know what to wear also don't know anyone else that is going I'm, like even more stressed out because i'm like i don't i don't know like what do I do? I might end up ordering a backup just in case they like send out an email that says, oh, like semi-formal or like, I don't know, something else. <sighs> just stressed. First one could be my last one. I may never go to a premiere ever again. So I'm like, I want to make sure that like I dress the part and I look correct and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing at that thing. I don't know stressed out i'm gonna start packing i pulled up the suitcase my poor sunny clover suitcase that has been beat up because the airport people like to abuse my suitcase i'm gonna start packing i might spiral as we do so yay <laughs> Pretty much packed up my suitcase everything is pretty much all done i start packing up my like makeup and stuff i usually pack my makeup like the morning of but i do want to like clean my makeup brushes um that way i can have clean brushes on my trip i want to show you guys i got this little like pearl heart for my sony clover clear originally i bought this if you guys watched that vlog with me ingrid and lauren um, we went to the Sony Clover store and me and Ingrid got these clear pouches to put our little Tiana patches on it. But we didn't end up liking it, especially me. I really did not like the way it looked. What we decided was we didn't realize that we both had this pouch. And since we realized it, we were like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for our 
our bestie patches and my friend Kat she sewed it on for me so now we have my Tiana patch on here and then I just got a pearl heart patch for this one just wanted to kind of update you guys on some Sony Clover items I think I've mastered my perfect set for traveling I have my glam pouch I put all my makeup in this one I put my skincare in which I still want to get like the skin letters to customize it but for now it's just plain this one holds just like extra thing hair stuff like hair ties um scrunchies hair clips like things like that and then i have this one for my makeup brushes which i'm going to clean them put all of the pouches in this large pouch which i want to customize but i don't know what i would customize it with so it's plain for now but i feel like it'd be cute if i could figure out like some words to put on it i just don't know what words i'm gonna start putting some makeup in here <laughs> I didn't put my brushes in here yet because I do want to clean them tonight. The brush pouch will definitely fit at the top. I think this is like the perfect little setup when it comes to traveling. So I love it. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready for this universal trip. Exciting vlogs to come. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in LA. Bye.